Whoa, 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 stop the music. We don't need all this dramatic music and extreme camera angles. It's just a review, come on. All right, so I've gotten my hands on this Fafine K668 recording microphone. Gonna be doing a test and review, put it through its paces, force it to battle on the Coliseum. That is this review. The K668 is a USB mic, which is great for people who want an easy mic to use. Just plug it in and, and record, and maybe start to venture into the YouTube scene. Now, this review is going to be mostly from a gaming and YouTube perspective, but can definitely apply to a lot of other aspects as well. My first mic was the Blue Yeti, which is a, an awesome mic. I, I love it. But the biggest problem I had with it was background noise. I always had background noise, had to edit it out. It was a big pain. And I don't exactly live in a perfectly quiet house. And that, plus living through the cold Canadian winters, would mean that my furnace would be blaring 24-7 to keep the house warm, which created a lot of background noise. It was pretty bad. So, I thought it would be cool to pit these mics against each other and see the difference. So we're going to be doing three tests here. I've already, I've already done the recordings, one with the Blue Yeti, one with the Fafine K668. Um, one is just normal background noise, nothing special, just a quiet room. Second one is um, I cranked up the speed on my computer fans to simulate anybody who might have a super loud computer, maybe a laptop that likes to blare its fan, something like that, just to see how that would uh, fare. And the third one is since I do live in a cold winter climate, um, the heater, my furnace does make a lot of noise and goes for a long time. So I have a little heater fan in my room that I turned on for the third test to kind of help simulate that. So we're going to pull these, uh, audio clips up here and I'm going to start by playing the blue Yeti first on all these tests. And then it's going to, uh, switch over to the K668 and we'll see how loud they, uh, are compared to each other. So after going through the audio clips, it seems that the K668 is actually quieter in every test than the uh, Blue Yeti. And these tests were carried out on the same gain levels. Audacity was set to a recording uh, level of like 0.92 for both. Everything was the same. Now that was just from the background noise perspective. Let's uh, go through a little uh, talk test and see how it sounds for both of them. Test, test, test one, two, testing, test. This is a test recording between the Blue Yeti and the Fafine K668. Test, test, test one, two, testing, test. This is a test recording between the Blue Yeti and the Fafine K668. So listening to them both, the Blue Yeti one is actually louder, but... It's too loud, it's heavily distorted, and it just doesn't sound great, you know? Um, I was, when I recorded these, I was talking maybe about six inches to a foot away from the mic. Um, so the Blue Yeti is a, is a way more sensitive microphone. Uh, the K668, however, is pretty good, actually, for this type of vocal recording. Just talking into a mic on the desk sort of thing, you know? I found it actually better i prefer it now this doesn't mean that the blue yeti is a bad mic i still like the mic it's just it would perform better in a different circumstance such as if you're trying to record maybe a bunch of people sitting around a room you know multiple feet away from the mic or maybe an orchestra band playing something or maybe you're trying to record some ambient noise 
like some birds chirping and the wind blowing, anything like that, I can pretty much guarantee that the Blue Yeti would be the mic for that. But from the perspective of this review, from a gaming and YouTube perspective, I'm going to have to say the K668 is better with this uh, talk test. Now speaking of orchestral and like instruments and stuff, I thought it'd be cool to do one last test using a instrument. So I pulled out one of my uh, bass guitars and played a little riff and see how the mic would pick it up. Now the bass is not plugged into an amp, it was just raw bass strings. So we'll see uh, how they sound. Alright, so the K668 was better with the background noise once again, but it was also very quiet recording the bass, um, especially the low end of it, the lower strings and lower notes. The Yeti picked it up nicely, but yet again, it picks up all the background noise too. However, if you were recording instruments, you would probably in, in be inside some sort of really quiet room, a studio of some kind, you know, etc, etc. So this, for the instrument, I would probably say that the Yeti is better unless maybe if it was an acoustic guitar maybe the k668 would be better you know put the mic right by the um made by the opening of an acoustic guitar it might pick up quite nicely i think um but i don't have access to an acoustic guitar right at the making of this video so i couldn't test it but yeah now after using the mic for a little bit and comparing it and doing a juggling it, you know, I don't know, doing everything. <laughs> if I could go back in time and repick my first microphone that I chose to start venturing into YouTube and gaming videos and such like that, I could confidently say that I would pick the K668. It's way quieter at the background noise, which was a huge issue for me, and... It's easy to use. It's way. It's one of the problems I had was the Blue Yeti sitting on my desk. It, it's a taller mic, so it's kind of hard to see the screen over top. And the K six six eight's on a lower tripod and doesn't take up too much room. Now I'm I'm kind of surprised that the K six six eight did so well because the Blue Yeti, as of th making this video, its price on Amazon.ca is a, just over $170 Canadian. And I think that's roughly like 140, 150 US. Don't quote me on that. Whereas the K668 microphone on uh, Amazon is just above 30 bucks. It's 31.99 Canadian, which is like 25 bucks US, which is an insane price difference. The quality of the mic for the price is amazing. It's perfect for a beginner mic, somebody who wants to get a mic to start using just to start venturing into YouTube or podcasts or gaming. It's It works really well, surprisingly. Now there's a last couple of pros and cons of the mic that I can mention here before the video ends. Some of the good things is it's, again, not super heavy, it's play and go, and cord is a decent length, comes with its own little tripod, and it has a little anti-wind foam filter it comes with as well. Some of the cons I have noticed, though, is the cord is not detachable. Uh, there's no built-in gain control knob for the mic that you can easily use, and it didn't seem to fit my uh, microphone boon arm. The mount seemed to be a little too big for the standard microphone here, so maybe that's just my mic arm, but it didn't seem to fit. But it might for others. I, I don't know. Now those cons aren't really a big deal because for barely over $30 with the quality that the mic is, it's... It's great. I, I admit, it's quite the good mic. I highly recommend it. If I had to give it a number, I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10. Now, this is my very first time doing a little review here. Um, I'd like to hear how you think I did. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd uh, like to see some more reviews every once in a while from me. And also, if you ever use the K668 microphone, put your opinion down below as well. I'd like to hear what you think of the mic. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. 
Uh, I got lots of videos coming up soon. Uh, I'll see you later.